Dopamine is released from several sites in the brain and body, but perhaps the most important one for today's discussion about motivation and reward is something that's sometimes just called the reward pathway. For the aficionados, it's sometimes called the mesolimbic reward pathway. As always, you don't have to remember these names, but if you want to, I offer them to you for f- further Googling, research, reading, etc. But it's fundamentally important to your desire to engage in action, and it's fundamentally important for people getting addicted to substances or behaviors. So how does this work? Well, you've got a structure in the deep part of your brain called the VTA. It stands for ventral tegmental area. It contains neurons that send what we call axons, little wires, that spit out dopamine at a different structure called the nucleus accumbens. And those two structures, VTA and nucleus accumbens, form really the core machinery of the reward pathway and the pathway that controls your motivation for anything. You can think of them like an accelerator. They bias you for action. However, within the reward pathway, there's also a break. The break or restriction on that dopamine, which controls when it's released and how much it's released, is the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the neural real estate right behind your forehead. It's discussed for so many aspects of neuroscience. You hear about it for decision-making, executive function, for planning, etc. And indeed, it's responsible for a lot of those. It's this really unique real estate that we were all endowed with as humans. Other animals don't have much of it. We have a lot of it. And that prefrontal cortex acts as a break on the dopamine system. Without that break, you would be purely a pleasure-seeking animal. You would be purely pleasure-seeking. You would have no basis for regulating your behavior in terms of trying to get things that make you feel good. 